And now for the online mode, first we'll start out with the nuke mode, just because that's what I kind of started out with. Um, it's a pretty cool mode, actually. Um, the only time I don't, I don't like it as much in this mode, because the uh, statues don't move. But in other maps, it's awesome. But, yeah, I like nuke mode myself. Just capture the enemy. It's pretty cool. You do in the doll face thing pretty well. It's just you've got more enemies and uh, move a statue that doesn't attack you. And yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, it's still a it's a it's a sweet mode that they added. Like I can't wait to see what else they're gonna be adding into this game for online game play like these kind of games like we've got team hunted we've got team deathmatch deathmatch last man standing like there's got to be a couple more i think there could be something like they could add races into it death races It'd be pretty cool if they could add but anyway with with uh, back to the nuke mode it's a pretty fun mode like especially once you can get um, a couple of well, a few of your friends or something like i was just doing this single by myself well, with team, but it's nice when you can get your teammates even together with you and just demolish the guys or protect the guy who has the nuke. It's just, just a fun game. This is just on defense right now, but when I go to offense, it's I'm surprised how easy it is to control a nuke, but how easy it is to get shot down as well. Like you get people shooting you like crazy the whole time. The whole time, but. Like right now, you can see me, I'm just starting shooting it, like... And there'll probably be another guy coming up in a few seconds, I'll be hitting it, like... They take a beat in those nukes. <laughs> but, I don't know, there's nothing too t terribly much to say, other than... Actually, uh, the uh, online play when I first got the game wasn't too terribly great. But, since getting the game and... Otherwise, it's been a really good game otherwise really I've had no problems with it um, every once in a while won't let me connect to someone but oh well I got no problem with that it might be my connection anyway but it's like any other game that just comes out there's gonna be bugs in it Call of Duty has bugs in it Black Ops have bugs in it Modern Warfare 3 has its bugs like it doesn't matter what game you're playing there's gonna be a bug in it pretty well like they are having problems with their servers no doubt they're it's a game that a lot of people are going to be buying and that are going to be wanting onto the server. So they're they could have like I don't know why they're the reason why their servers aren't the greatest right now. But I've had no problems with them, so I'm not I can't really say that they're not the greatest. But either way, it's I like the, the game, the servers. I find they play fine. I see the occasional person quit, but I think that's usually just because they're being a pussy more or less than anything else. But either way, the enemy has um, captured one of your leaders. What else can I talk about with it? The nuke mode, really? It's nothing too terribly much to talk about the nuke mode, really. Otherwise, um, yeah. So I'll switch to uh, hunted mode then. Now with uh, team hunted, well, I just did team hunted this time. But with hunted mode, it's a pretty cool mode. Yeah, like, you get two. It's what is it? It's like. Um, Team Defender pretty well on uh, you know, one guy one guy can get two points, one or two points. The other guy can get one point really. Your pretty well target is the one guy. It's nothing great. It's a fun mode though, like I, I yeah, this one I think I lost in this one. Uh, no, we won in this one. Yeah, this team the team hunted I'm pretty sure we won. Either way, it's the just the game is fun, like you're chasing one enemy, you play. Another thing is, that's another weird part, he's frozen. I didn't think you can, you can freeze people. Like, you'd think you'd be able to, but you can't. But, you know, hunted mode, nothing like that. Nothing too crazy like it, but other than it's just, like, you change your defender to defend your guy and kill the other team. No big deal, but it's fun. Fun otherwise. And, uh, going to team deathmatch now. Now jumping right into the team deathmatch. Not deathmatch, it's just deathmatch death match actually. But either way, it's still kind of the same mode in a way. Team deathmatch, deathmatch either. Um, 
again, it's, it's like all the other modes almost, really. But, um, just, it's like it used to be, really. It's, but it's with the upgraded graphics and physics and everything. It just makes it, again, more realistic and just much a more fun game to play than the other ones are. Especially with the graphics wise, like, it's just awesome. <laughs> Um, another thing I didn't mention but when I was doing the gameplay part was uh, Mega Guns. Mega Guns are awesome in this, especially for destroying Juggernauts. Or just use power to the face back and they're done. Either way, I didn't tell you that. <laughs> but um, yeah, the Team Deathmatch mode, when you're just doing it on normal, it's not really that much of a challenge. Any other mode, it's actually have a challenge. <laughs> um, otherwise, yeah, Team Deathmatch is just Team Deathmatch. Or Deathmatch is just Deathmatch. It's just killing people or killing other vehicles, really. I can't say too, too much about it. And then Sweet Tooth just did an awesome move there. I was not expecting it there when I was playing. But, uh, yeah. With Team Deathmatch, it's. I would rather play Team Deathmatch than normal Deathmatch if I was going to play. Uh, since no, a death match is like free for all, where the last man, last man standing, like the last man standing. Which reminds me, I'll actually just go straight into the last man standing mode, and that'll probably end out our uh, Driver our review of Twisted Metal, or my review of Twisted Metal. But either way, so here we are going into the uh, next mode. Welcome now, to last now the um, last man standing mode. It's very quick, I'll give it that, like, but then again, it is last man standing, so I don't blame it to be quick. But, again, it's nothing crazy, really. It's just, it's a, just kill people in the last man standing. It's just, um, it's just a little bit more, uh, what's the word? Um, frantic, more or less, with people. Like, you don't know where people are, you have to keep a really close eye on your health while you're, uh, when you're playing this, because you'll just get, like, rocked right here, I'm almost dead already. So, it's like, I have to kill the guy quick, or I'm gonna die in last man standing, and nobody win if I am in here. Alright, somehow, I was winning. But, um, it's hard to talk about it just a last man standing one after talking about the rest of the game pretty well. But, Otherwise, like, the game's a fun game for the last man standing mode, even just, it's like, almost like, uh, Black Ops is one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. It, Three vehicles remain. yeah, it's just a fun mode, really. You just have to really keep an eye on your health, like, I was surprised I survived this, but then again, I'm using Axel, which is kind of cheap, when he just jumps around like that. But he has no health, so... They, well, that's another thing they fixed on, is, um... Some cars had, like, major ass health and, like, shouldn't have. Like, they've made it so Crimson Fury and Reaper and them could be, like, destroyed in one hit pretty well, which makes sense. They're, like, really that kind of car. Whereas something like this would last a little bit longer than they would. But, uh... Yeah. Oh, that would have been nice for that car. But, um... Yeah, last man standing mode. Otherwise, it's it's a fun mode to play. Just especially if you can get a, like four or five of your friends around, then you just go crazy on it. Another thing I didn't Mega mention with the online mode is the uh, split screen online you can do, which is sweet. You just sign in another person, and there you go. You can play online with someone else or with two people online. Which uh, who started? I can't remember what game started that. I know Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops had it, which I was happy for. But yeah, it's pretty cool having it so you can, if you have a huge screen, you can four player, uh, four player stuff. <laughs> yeah. well, you know what? I think I'll just kind of move it on to the full ending review out of the game. Uh, out of 10, I would definitely give the game at least a 9 out of 10. Like, there are little things it could fix, but there's nothing really I want. Like, I'd rather see the next game or even just more DLC for this game just to make it 
better. That's all I could see that making it better out of. So yeah, nine out of ten definitely. So. And yeah, so that's my review. So post yours up. I'll post a or post a video in response to it or something. And awesome. So please rate, comment, subscribe, like, dislike, whatever the heck you have to do. It'll be uh, greatly appreciated. So thank you and have a good day.